So hello guys, uh, we're taking a look at the web browser again. Uh, this time I made a couple of modifications to make it a bit more usable. Um, but yeah, not much other than that. I did make a few discoveries, but uh, it's nothing groundbreaking really. Uh, you will see what I mean. So uh, this is what you get when you first boot up the um, web browser. So you can jump to a URL, visit the URL with Rob Find. Now I do have to mention that you don't need to uh, input HTTP or the two dots and then the two slashes. You just do, uh, for example, Rob Find. dot com and then you can you press go or to oh, uh, so sometimes it may actually do that uh unfortunately I have to uh, no, I'm not, I'm not sure why this happened, but uh, this is related to the uh, URL control file, which I couldn't find a backup of it, unfortunately, because it was hosted on PSO's website. But yeah, it works. Um, okay, now you can also go to a website that might not be supported so github for example get that com and submit and yeah this is pretty neat i think uh, so you have quick access to whatever you want uh, now, of course, the first URL should be mostly used if, say, you want to access, for example, WRP on your local network. That will work for that, but for pretty much everything else, I would use frog find instead, which you can also access here. And it's available at news. So works. Uh, the old net. Now this is a bit, quite a bit bigger actually, and it doesn't support like the GIF images. Not sure why this web browser was crippled not to support GIF images. Uh, that's just just beyond me. And unfortunately, that doesn't make it as useful as it should be, really. Uh, so it does support PNG and JPEGs, but not GIFs, like OWL. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure why. Uh, I actually went as far as removing GIF from the accepted uh, file formats in the HTTP header, but that doesn't change the fact that some websites just hard code GIF uh, images because they pretty much assume that most web browsers support GIF images well, except this one apparently. Uh, I also put like the URL thing on the on my website itself. Was the links. Uh, now some of these uh, links will be removed or updated. Uh, for example, whether no longer works, same for CNN Lite. If you want to uh, look at the news, uh, I recommend 68k that news instead. Uh, the SI paint, paint, it works, but no GIF images. Uh, the Dreamcast websites, uh, most of them actually use GIF images, so you will get nothing, basically. Uh, but the odd thing is that it does actually support MNG, which is 
the uh, predecessor to APNG, which is an animated format based upon the PNG format. And it even supports uh, JPEG fra frames uh, in uh, PNG files, which is called JNG. So let me show you that actually. I made a small demo. But the file size is quite small. It's less than 100, uh, 300 uh, kilobytes. If you go beyond that, uh, it's a crapshoot, basically. It might work or might not work, so... Should stop uh, pretty soon. Right here. Yeah. So, uh, you won't be watching animes on your web browser, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so now there's never SSL which works as expected. Uh, I think there is like uh, a Nita instance for Twitter, but I don't think it works over. HTTP, so let me check real quick. I don't think it will work, but I could try uh, over Frogpine instead. That might work. It might not work. Yeah, uh, it doesn't. Um, so. So yeah, uh, there's an icon call, called to game because it's supposed to actually reset back to the game. But here instead, it just resets uh, the whole thing. So it essentially does a soft reboot. So let's try Nita here instead. This should work, but I'm not sure the output that we are going to get from it. Yes. Uh, as expected. Yeah. Uh, so uh, just click, just click on one of the links before you actually type a uh, URL because otherwise it will always give the error message because it's actually trying to download the uh, the so-called URL control file. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't do much. Uh, let's try my profile though. Maybe we will have better luck. I think. I pre I'm pretty sure Twitter itself will not work through Rockfine because it's a single page app. Yes, so I can actually uh, take a look at all of my tweets and even see the images. <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, yeah, that's actually pretty neat. So if you are following someone on Twitter, you can actually do that. Uh, not a solution for Facebook or whatever, but it works. Uh, obviously not for YouTube, but you get the idea. Um, there is... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so I forgot to mention the goodies. So basically, uh, while going through the binary, I discovered that there... There's basically like a built-in like bookmark and history uh, stuff. And also something called a memo. And I'm not sure what this is for, to be honest. Uh, I have no idea what this is. Yeah, I have no idea. But this is cool. So basically this is a history of your um, 
of your browsing basically of course you can just delete everything and it's gone so you can also create a bookmark but yeah i mean i'm not like if, if i actually leave this and go back it's gone uh, so i'm not sure what the purpose of it is yeah i'm not sure what's well yeah yeah i have no idea what it's used for uh so yeah it's not actually fully working it's of course it's in japanese as well so that there's like some kind of a printing icon there's nothing nothing there's a door but there's nothing as well i mean it's mostly a bonus like there's also this email thing but i don't know japanese so i have no idea how to actually configure the application Because you have like to set the SMTP address and all of that stuff, but since it's in Japanese, I don't actually understand anything right now. So, blah blah blah. Well, I wouldn't actually recommend this, but it's there if you know how to use it. I probably just you would use it just for the history uh but yeah i mean uh it works it's not it's not great to be honest <laughs> it's even worse than the dreamcast web browser i did to say because uh i mean you do have more ram available for uh, say uh wikipedia through frog fine but that's really pretty much it like you don't get flash you don't get uh, Java applet support, you don't get uh, music, you don't get MIDI, you don't, you don't get uh, video support even. Uh, so it's a bit useless if I dare to say. Now there is a better browser which is using the demo kiosk disk. Uh, I may look at that eventually but it's a bit, it's a bit tricky right now. And yeah, we don't actually get the error this time, uh, which is interesting. Uh, not sure. I mean, I didn't do like a whole lot of changes, so not sure why I could load the page in its entirety this time. So yeah, I yeah, have no idea, but there you go. That's good, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I hate when it does that. Uh, so, home. So, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to give it a try. Uh, obviously, it's not great. Uh, it's only usable on a few websites, including the ones that I've linked to. But, yeah, thank you for watching and bye.